What's going on guys, today I have something special and that is this. This is the fork and skewers platter. It's the, called the Kamayan platter. I might be saying that wrong, but basically in the Philippines, this is kind of a recent thing. I don't think I remember people doing this like when I was growing up, but they get a big table and they put a banana leaf on it and then they lay all the food on it and you just eat it. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a party thing where you just kind of eat everything and we'll show you what we have in this platter right here. So in the platter, this is what I got. We got some lumpias over here. You see the lumpias, these are pork lumpias. We have a sunny side up egg. Uh, this is the achara. We'll open, go ahead and open that up. So this is kind of like the side dishes that you would get almost at a Korean restaurant, but this is the achara. So this is pickled papaya. We have some vinegar. So this is Filipino vinegar. We got the sweet chili sauce. This is for the egg rolls or whatever else you want to put it on, but this is like sugar, vinegar, and it's like got the cornstarch in there to make it nice and syrupy. And then what is this last thing? Oh, this is what every Filipino has in their pantry. This is Mamacita's lechon sauce right here. Sometimes it's made from liver. I don't think this one's actually made from liver, but it's got brown sugar and everything else. My mouth is watering. So let's look what else we got in here. We got some pork belly, so fried pork belly, crispy pork belly, you got the crispy skin. Over here, we got the garlic fried rice. We got the pork skewers right there. You guys see the pork skewers. And this is gonna be the beef tocino. We also got pancit over here. So you see the pancit. This is right, uh, glass noodles and then the fried egg. So let's go ahead and give it all a taste. Usually you would eat with your hands, but I don't wanna eat with my hands. I wanna eat with a, a fork and you know, enjoy it that way. All right, so this is gonna be a little mukbang of the food that Fork and Skewers has. This is my friend's place that they built up in Houston. There is a food truck in Houston. They came down to Beaumont just for the weekend. They said they'll do this again next month, so make sure to get on the list and order yourself a Kamayan plate because you're gonna have a nice little meal. This is about 40 bucks, so really not too bad. It's gonna serve probably three people. They say two people, but that's a big two person portion. So uh, this will probably be good for four people. So let's go ahead and taste the lumpia right here. And I put it in the sauce. This is the sweet chili sauce. So right there, you guys see that? Oh yeah. That's good. Looks like this one is kind of a this a vegetable one. So I got a vegetable lumpia. I think they have a pork one in there too. Let's get one towards the back. See how this one tastes? The, the vegetable one was good, but I like meat, so. Yeah, this one is the meat one. You guys can see that. It has pork inside of it. These things are dangerous. You can eat a lot of these. In fact, whenever they come to our GTS runs, people will eat these up. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Right, so what I'm gonna do is make me a little platter right here with the rest of the stuff. Put some achara over there. And again, this is pickled achara. Let's go ahead and get that taste. It's got a good tang, it's got the sweetness. They put some pineapple in there as well. Some bell peppers and that pickled papaya. It's green papaya, it's not that orange papaya. So it's not as soft as the ripe papaya. So it's an unripened papaya. Let's put a skewer on there. we will put, I have some egg rolls already. So we'll put some pork belly over here. I'll put the I'll put half of the egg because I'm sharing this. This is not all for me. Half the egg, some of the garlic fried rice, right there. Yum. Put some of the tocino over here. And then finally some pancit. The only thing that this thing is missing is calamansi. Usually we squirt some calamansi on top of the pancit and eat it that way. But let's go ahead and give this a taste so I can enjoy this. I'm gonna give this a taste and then I'll tell you how I feel about this food 
out of it. They are my friends. So it's probably gonna get a good review, but right now my mouth is watering so much. So it's telling me to shut up and eat some of this pork skewer right here. Mmm. It's got a like good, like, charred flavor. You can tell that it was barbecued. Use some of that garlic fried rice. Even better. What I like to do is eat the pork barbecue with the vinegar. So I dip it a little bit in the vinegar right there. Mm. That's the way to go. That with some garlic fried rice is magical. Here's the egg. Just an egg. Uh, what you could also do with the with the pork skewer is to eat it with achara. That's another complimentary side that usually goes with it. So just you dip it in the vinegar and then get a little bit of the chara on there and then a little bit of the rice. I always say, like whenever I'm eating and I'm happy, I do a little happy dance, so that's what that was right there. And let's taste the tocino. This is a beef tocino. And again, you can just use this with a chara, mix it with a rice, mix it with a pancet, and eat it. Yeah, that's good. Salty, sweet. So you eat with the achara. Perfect mix right there. Let's give the pancet a taste right here. So this is the pancet. It's bringing me back to all the Filipino parties that I used to go to back in the day. All that kind of stuff. Whenever I was in the Philippines, I would get pancet, I would get some of this, some, some garlic fried rice, and man, I go to town. All right, so one last thing to taste is gonna be the pork belly right there. You guys can see the nice pork belly. Got a lot of fat, got some meat on there, got the crispy skin, and you gotta dip it in the mamacitas sauce. Mmm. You can never go wrong with crispy pork belly. Man, that's good. Let's give it one more taste. This is a little fattier piece. It just goes so well with Mamacita's sauce. It's actually called a multi-purpose sauce, but Filipinos always eat it with their pork. Again, you follow it up with the fried rice. Perfect, perfect meal. I'm not gonna eat all of this. There's still a lot more inside of here. Really good stuff. All right, one last thing I almost forgot to eat is they serve some homemade ube. So if you guys don't know what ube is, ube ice cream, this is like a, uh, like a sweet potato, but not really. This is the own Filipino version. It's a little bit not as frozen because it is super hot outside, but there it is right there. The homemade ube. Let's give it a taste. Super creamy. It almost tastes like whipped cream. This, on top of anything, would be delicious. So this is the perfect ending to this. Good job, Fork and Skewers. You guys need to come down to Beaumont more. Next time they are in Beaumont, make sure to check them out. I gotta give this at Beaumont Foodie two thumbs up. Really good. I'm Filipino. I know good Filipino food when I see it and when I taste it. 
and this is good Filipino food from Fork and Skewers. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little mukbang food review of Fork and Skewers. If you guys did, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.